Excel is used as a spreadsheet normally for organising numbers of items in rows and columns. The first stage is to label up your rows and columns so you know what the amounts refer to. On the Home tab, which is where we are currently, within the Font section there's a border selection to make parts of the spreadsheet stand out. For the core of the spreadsheet we're going to select all borders to make the centre of our spreadsheet stand out from the general background. Once you've selected that you can click and drag from there and drag again and that will make your centre of your spreadsheet stand out. To make the labels stand out even more you can go to the top and select a thick border this time and again like we did previously drag it across and going back again and drag it down we've now got our labels and our centre standing out from the rest of the spreadsheet if you wish to adjust the size of columns or rows you can simply move your mouse pointer to the gap between each column or row click and slide and you can adjust the sides very quick and easily. Now you can fill in numbers and appropriate labels to your table which actually takes some time so here's one I did a little earlier. Once this is done you can actually add some formulas to what you've actually inputted. Here we have all our sales already before the VAT and we would actually like them all nice and neatly added up for us. Rather than to use a calculator and go through that, Excel's already set out for doing this for you. You can use the auto sum function as long as the box is in here. Click auto sum here and it'll automatically su sum everything from B2 to B13. Just press enter and it'll add up all of those columns already for you. Now if we want to get a bit tricky, if we want to do sales after VAT. Now if we want VAT to be 20% you can do equal, the, you want the column beforehand so in this case this is B2 which is that box there, you want it times which is that star symbol 1.2 so that's 20% that's the original one plus another 0.2 on an additional 20% and that will calculate our 20% for you. Now rather than having to repeat that each time again you can use the drag function and drag it all the way down to the bottom and it will automatically calculate the VAT on each of those figures. You can do that lots more times for lots of the other figures and do all kinds of fun sums formulas, all kinds of things. Some of them get really complicated, some of them are easy. I won't go through all of them because there are thousands of them. But one of the things you might want to do from here is to do a diagram or graph of what you want to actually uh, got so you can actually display it nice and easily. Way to do that, select the area that you want. I don't want the full year for this one but I do want all the months and all the headings from here. Then we want to insert the graph in this case I'm going to pick a basic column graph and go for a 2D column. And there we go, there's our column. You can change all colours and all kinds of things about it. You can move it anywhere you want. And there you go. That's a basic introduction to Excel. Hope that's useful.